des amis sont venus me proposer de me faire évader pour aller me faire dormir ailleurs. J'ai dit non. Il ne sera jamais dit que Babo était un fuyant et qu'on l'a arrêté ou qu'on l'a abattu. Non. Si Babo doit tomber, il tombera dans la maison où il travaille. Je commencerai par une déclaration solennelle que je fais au nom du gouvernement français et du président de la République, M. Jacques Chirac. Il n'est absolument pas dans l'intention de la force licorne de renverser le président Gbagbo. Le président Gbagbo représente un gouvernement légal, élu au suffrage universel, et la présence de la force licorne aujourd'hui dans Abidjan a uniquement pour but de rassurer et de sécuriser la communauté expatriée, qu'elle soit étrangère ou française. Après l'impasse des négociations autour de la crise ivoirienne, la médiation de la dernière chance est confiée au président du pays le plus puissant sud-africain, Thabo Mbeki. We were asked by the, uh... The African Union and ECOWAS uh, to intervene to assist in terms of uh, trying to find a resolution to the Ivorian crisis. The critical thing, uh, in our view, was first of all to get a proper understanding of the nature of the Ivorian crisis. And to do that, it meant we had to talk to everybody. When Tabo Mbeki approached the crisis Ivorian, we felt that it was someone who came from a country qui a connu l'injustice, qui a connu la souffrance, qui a connu l'apartheid. Once we got a clearer picture of the nature of the problem, we could understand uh, how difficult it would be to enter into compromises. If you take, for instance, the matter about uh, Alassane Ouattar and his possibility to be a candidate, I knew about this problem before The presidential election took place when uh, President Bédier was elected and Ouattara couldn't run. I knew about the problem because he had come to see me when he was still at the IMF to explain this problem. And uh, I'd spoken to President Bédier about it to say this, uh, this was going to cause a problem. At that stage, he did not know President Bagbo very well, but he said to himself, this is an African brother. I'm going to talk to him openly, honestly. If you take, for instance, uh, a President Bagbo, he's a member of the FPI. He had to make sure that uh, the things he says and the things he does uh, would enjoy the support of the FPI, but they did not all the time. But then he had to take into account what is in the interest not of the party, but what's in the interest of the country. Of the people of Côte d'Ivoire and, and take the necessary decisions. Or, or you get the idea, I'm sorry, who would tell me that, look, I agree with what is being said, but I also want to confess that I do not have the capacity to carry all of the rebels. So I'm going to be in problems, but because the, this is about the future of Côte d'Ivoire, we have to go ahead with this. So the things that we proposed were in fact not original to the mediation. They came from the Ivorians themselves. And you see, we were insisting on that because in the end, the only way uh, uh, any settlement would be able to survive and be implemented, survive, uh, and provide a lasting solution would be if that settlement came from the Ivorian people themselves. It would not help if uh, As mediator, we think we've got clever ideas. And we say, this is what we think Côte d'Ivoire should do. And all of these people don't like this. Mbeki arrive à Abidjan le 9 novembre 2004. Et ce dont il est témoin, l'édifice sur le rôle de la France en Côte d'Ivoire. The French had taken over, for instance, Abidjan. So they were in control of the airport. Uh, they were in control of the road from the airport into the, the city. They were in control of the bridges in Abidjan. They were in control of uh, the Hotel Ivoire. And so they were deciding what, what should happen. 
So they, they did not want us to come. We said that we had an appointment with the President of the Republic and that uh, we had an obligation uh, to meet, to honor that appointment, uh, because we, we, we had been asked by the continent to, to act as mediator. And so we told the French that, no, we were coming uh, in order to meet President Gbagbo on the day uh, that was agreed, uh, and that we would land at Abidjan. We would have to uh, and drive into the city. So in the end, they said, all right, they agree. We should come. So we went. When he saw the soldiers français take the airport of Abidjan, take the two ponts of Abidjan, ça l'a mis hors de lui-même. Mais il a gardé son sang-froid parce que pour régler la crise, il fallait garder le sang-froid. Et il est méthodique, mais déterminé et anti-colonialiste, anti-impérialiste, à souhait. There was a threat of a confrontation between the French soldiers who were in the Hotel Ivoire and, and people who were demonstrating. Uh, outside the hotel uh, uh, to stop those troops from attacking the president. So we discussed that with President Gbagbo to say that there was a danger here that many people could get killed. And so President Gbagbo said to me that uh, uh, they would be ready to send people to the Hotel Ivoire to persuade the Ivorians who were demonstrating there, to persuade them to leave. And in return, French troops should leave the Hotel Ivoire and go and co occupy another hotel uh, further away from the president's. Uh, well, that required that uh, I should speak to the then president of France, President Jacques Chirac, uh, to make that suggestion. So I did speak to him while we were in Abidjan. So we agreed to that with President Chirac. And so, of course, I went back to President Bakpo to say, no, I've spoken to President Chirac and we've agreed uh, that they will evacuate the Hotel Ivoire. Uh, but before that, the Ivorians, uh, the Ivorian demonstrators, then should be persuaded to leave. So that was agreed. So at that point, we left. Uh, this was just before we left uh, Abidjan to go come back to South Africa. So we then left with that agreement, uh, go to the airport, only to find when we arrive at the airport, we then got a report that, in fact, the French troops had opened fire on the Ivorian demonstrators there and, and, and killed people. It's been a long, a black man. A black man. long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Whoa, yes and well. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. I don't know what's up there. Le peuple de Côte d'Ivoire a l'air de s'amuser, d'être euh, grincheux, de se plaindre toujours. Mais dès qu'il y a une situation difficile, où la Côte d'Ivoire est touchée dans son naissance propre, le peuple est toujours debout. Et c'est pourquoi je suis fier des Ivoiriens. Restez mobilisés. Parce que... C'est un mauvais coup pour nous essayer, mais nous gagnerons. J'ai reçu ce pays avec 322 000 km. Je le rendrai à mon successeur avec 322 000 km. On a number of occasions, I've been here in Abidjan and Yamoussoukro you would find uh, invalids, people on wheelchairs, sitting outside uh, the hotel and asking for assistance. To the extent we can, of course, we, we, we do assist. But the important thing uh, about that 
was that uh, all the times that we would meet them, they would communicate the same message to us, that uh, the country, Cote d'Ivoire, is itself an invalid because of this crisis. And therefore, what we expect from you, President Beck, really what is necessary is that you must assist uh, for Cote d'Ivoire to recover because Cote d'Ivoire itself is like ourselves. We are sitting here on the wheelchairs. We are also invalids. But please, you must do this thing for us. When President Beki said to him once early on to say, I'm taking you to Burkina Faso. You are coming with me to Burkina Faso to meet President Kampaore. I could tell that it, you know, it caught him by surprise. But because he's pragmatic and he trusted him, he said, okay, my brother, I'm coming with you to Burkina Faso. And you know, that was the beginning of the mending of relationships between Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. And President Kampaoro was very gracious also. President Beck says, I'm flying to your country, but I'm bringing President Bagbo. And he was also a little surprised, but was very, very magnanimous and gracious. So he told me that, you know, because President Beck really threw this at President Bagbo, just like that. But President Bagbo, pragmatic. So they share a passion for Africa. They are very practical people. Je dis souvent que le temps, c'est l'autre nom de Dieu. Rien ne peut résister au temps. On est arrivé à un moment où les héros sont fatigués. Les héros étant fatigués, quand j'ai fait une proposition de paix, une proposition win-win, gagnant-gagnant, bon, on accepte. Je veux dire que dans des discussions, il ne faut pas chercher à humilier quelqu'un. Quand on voulait négocier avec lui, nous avons pris cette précaution. Et puis, il faut prendre comme facilitateur quelqu'un en qui, euh, celui avec qui vous voulez discuter, a confiance. C'est ce que nous avons fait aussi. Je suis béni parmi tous mes frères. Si hier nos turputudes nous ont conduits à la guerre, aujourd'hui notre détermination commune doit nous construire la paix. Il y a un temps pour tout. Le temps pour faire la guerre, un temps pour faire la paix. Un temps pour se battre, un temps pour se réconcilier, un temps pour prendre les armes. Un temps pour les déposer et les brûler. Peuple de Côte d'Ivoire, la guerre est finie. Répétez après moi, la guerre est finie. Encore que j'entende bien, la guerre est finie. Once the crisis uh, took place in, in Cote d'Ivoire, immediately had an impact on a whole number of countries in the region. Cote d'Ivoire is a very important country in West Africa. It had the biggest economy in West Africa. It supports quite a number of countries. It hosts uh, many residents of the different countries in West Africa. It's a very, very strategic country. And it's quite clear that uh, if you solve the crisis in Cote d'Ivoire, it will have a positive impact on a whole number of countries in the region. Again, I'm talking about a Cote d'Ivoire which, which is committed to this vision of the transformation of the continent, uh, of the renewal of the continent, of the renaissance of the continent, in a manner, in a manner, that really changes the lives of the ordinary people for the better. Ce combat qui est mené ici en Côte d'Ivoire dépasse le cadre ivoirien, pourrait être intéressant pour le continent africain et pourrait être intéressant pour tous les, tous les démocrates.